today I'm super excited because we've got a DIY. This is something that I kind of really only started thinking about properly last week and I've already got all of my bits and pieces um, together and I'm really excited for this project because it's gonna be such a big difference. There's a, a process called um, lining furniture. It basically enables you to create a cooler, lighter tone, um, a bit of a brighter and whiter tone in your furniture. And there's several ways that you can do it, but I'm gonna be showing you how I have decided to do mine today um, after talking to several people, gathering bits of information, watching other YouTube videos. I'm gonna be remaking um, a sideboard slash little cupboard thing that I've got that was kindly given to us when we moved in. It's great for extra storage, it's beautiful, um, but it's just the wrong tone of wood. So instead of buying something new or throwing this out and having to spend more money on um, getting something in place of it, I thought let's DIY, see what we can do on a cheap budget and see if we can create something that we might like instead. So you don't need a lot of equipment to do this. So I've got my lime and wax. This was £10 off Amazon. Um, I'll put the link below. Let's see how this transformation goes. I'm really excited because I feel like I've done enough research that it hopefully turns out okay, but we'll have to wait and see. So let's get to it. Okay guys, here are a couple of items that we're going to need in order to do this project. So grab yourself a handheld sander, a paintbrush to apply the wax, an e-cloth to buff the wax out, the wax itself, some sandpaper and some kitchen towels. Now here is the cabinet, it's absolutely beautiful, I adore it, it's got some great storage and some lovely character with that wood grain. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it which is why I wanted to upcycle it, save us a little bit of money and make sure that we can kind of give it a new lease of life. As you can see, the wood grain is beautiful and that's something that I wanted to keep, which is why we're actually applying the lime wax today because it's not gonna overpower it. It's gonna make sure that that wood grain shines through because if we were to use a paint or something, it would kind of just like, it would just get rid of it totally, which isn't something that I wanted to do. Now here, all I'm doing is removing the hardware so that we can go in with the lime wax without any obstructions. If you wanted to, you could also take off the doors and the hinges to make sure that you had full access. But given this is just my first project and the cabinet isn't like a kind of staple piece in the home, I didn't really mind just giving it a good go in a kind of lazy way. <laughs> So I'm going in here with the handheld sander. This is a mouse sander. They're also known as palm sanders, obviously, because they fit in your palm. It was a little bit difficult to kind of get used to. The application itself is fine, but knowing how much to press down to give um, the right amount of pressure is what was um, a little bit more difficult. And I had to get used to knowing how much pressure to apply to give an even sand across the entire thing. We're just going in here with a paintbrush to get rid of all the excess dust that's going everywhere. Guys, look where I'm doing this. I'm doing this in my living room. Obviously something went through my mind because I opened the doors, but I didn't think to take the cabinet outside and do it outside. I think it was a little bit chilly outside and I thought, oh, I'll just do it here and all the dust will blow away outside. But no, guys, please do not do this. Honestly, take it from me. The amount of dust that goes everywhere with this handheld sander, even though there's a little bag on the back of it, is crazy. Rob came downstairs and he literally looked like he was in shock. He was like, what are you doing? I didn't even realise until I stopped to take a break and turned around and realised my whole sitting room had turned to like dust central. So we actually ended up after doing this, having to take everything out of the sitting room, wiping down the walls and the ceilings, hoovering everywhere, hoovering carpets and sofas and pillows pillows and cushions and oh honestly it just was too much so please make sure you do this in an, in an area that's either outside preferably or well ventilated or somewhere you don't mind getting a, lo a lot of dust. So I'm still just going in with the handheld sander here, making sure that I can try and get as much of an even sand as I can. You'll see in some areas that there's a little bit more of the darker brown that shines through than the whitish colour underneath. And if you want a distressed look, then that's fine. But if I was going to do this again, I would make sure that I took the effort to make sure that everything was really evenly sanded because you can kind of tell when you put the lime wax on where was darker, where was lighter before because the lime wax really adheres to the places that don't have any residue on, soaks right in there, whereas the places that were a little bit darker, they do shine through. It's not terrible, it's just a piece of, of advice that I would give to anyone wanting to do a project like this. Just take your time sanding down. 
obviously this is the next day because it did take a little bit longer than I expected. Um, I'm just going in with some handheld sandpaper there and the paintbrush again just to buff off any excess dust and I'm obviously outside this time which is really good. <laughs> So here is the product after we've sanded it down a couple of times. I really like this tone of wood anyway, where it was much more um, lighter and brighter and distressed, um, but we needed to go in with the lime wax in. So here we just evenly apply, and guys, you really do not need a lot of this. It goes a very long way. As you can see, I'm putting tiny little dots on and I'm just spreading it out as far as I can, and it really does go a long way. I'm using the e-cloth on top just to buff it out and make sure that there's no um, big lumps sitting on top and that it's kind of it's soaked up as much as it can be just going around everywhere making sure that I'm given an even finish and then I started doing the front of the cabinet which is the most exciting part so this is what I was talking about guys you can see on the left door I haven't really taken a lot of effort to sand it down as well and on the right door there's a big um, darker splodge please make sure that you try and buff that out as much as you can with the sander because it will show through and I was having a little bit of a problem getting that to stick but we did eventually make it work it was just a little bit more difficult than I think it needed to have been I'm just trying to make sure that I get every nook and cranny and I'm just taking my time here. It's not a very long project. It it probably take you a couple of hours and it's quite therapeutic actually just having something to do like this. Um, these are the parts here I had to keep going over and over because it wasn't sticking as well as it did on the top. Um, I think I got a little bit bored by the time I finished sanding the top and I got to the doors. I was just like, meh, that'll do. <laughs> But just make sure you take your time to do that and just buff everything out with the e-cloth and make sure that you're happy with the appearance like i actually love it and i think there's nothing wrong with it and i like the distressed look a little bit it gives it some more character so here it is guys here's the final product it's finished i love it you can definitely see how much better it fits with my decor and i've just styled it up with a few pieces like candles and some books it definitely gives off a the white company vibe or z gallery vibe and i really hope you like it and i would definitely recommend anyone who's looking to upcycle some furniture like this it's super easy it's so cheap as i said that liming wax is 10 pounds from amazon you can't go wrong and you genuinely can't go wrong even if you think it's going to be a difficult task this is such a beginner thing to do you should definitely try and do it but guys if you liked this video please like and subscribe and leave me a comment i would really appreciate that and i'll definitely do some more of these in the future bye mm -hmm.